following the signs to get to the Mackenzie King estate, but I must say it does not feel like we should be driving on this road. <laughs> If you haven't been following along on our local travels, we went on a summer road trip and kicked things off in Kingston, Ontario, where we toured a former maximum security prison, visited historic Fort Henry, and we cruised the Thousand Islands before ending up in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada's capital. In addition to sightseeing, we also sampled some more delicious beers and obviously had to pair it with some food. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And now we'll get back to our final day in Ottawa and Gatineau, Quebec. Oh, luckily there is a car in front of us and a car behind us. So we feel like it's an okay thing to do. And I think we literally just found the parking. We have made it to the Mackenzie King estate. We don't believe that it's actually open to go inside but there's a lot of different gardens and ruins that you can go through. Here's a map as you're getting right into the entrance here. It looks pretty neat, so we're gonna go take a look. William Lyon Mackenzie King was Canada's Prime Minister during the Second World War. And after he retired from politics, he came and moved to his estate here in Gatineau, Quebec. And it is a beautiful estate with lovely grounds. It's really interesting to learn a little bit more about his life. They have different boards set up around the grounds that tell you different facts. Unfortunately, most of the buildings are closed here because of COVID, but we can roam around the grounds. And the best part is it's free. The estate is actually located in Gatineau, Quebec, about 45 minutes from Ottawa, Ontario. Normally, you can enjoy a formal tea at the tea room on the estate, but unfortunately, due to COVID, the tea room was closed. The estate had beautiful gardens and grounds to explore, and we found out that there was even a hiking trail that led to a waterfall. And although neither of us were prepared for a hike, we heard that the waterfall was beautiful, so naturally, we had to go see it for ourselves. Well, we are on our way to the waterfall here on the estate, and it is a path that goes right through the forest, and right now there are tons of mosquitoes out. So I've already been bitten a couple of times, and we did have off bug spray in the car, which we just didn't use, and that was a really bad choice. But we're on our way to the waterfall, so I hope it's worth it. Yeah, I hope it's worth it. Nice side <laughs> being 2020, I would have showered myself in uh, mosquito repellent. Definitely. <laughs> Did you just slap one? Yeah. This everywhere. is insane. Okay, I think we're more than halfway there. We're fully committed at this point. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. To the waterfall. Well, we are headed in the right direction because the chute, or waterfall in English, is only 800 meters this way. So... Further into the woods we go. It seems like we have to go through this tunnel to get to the waterfall. So, oof, there's bugs flying at me already. This is kind of creepy. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of this. So this part of the path has gotten a little bit more steep and a lot more rocky and uneven. But we can hear the water, so we almost think we're almost there. After three days, we've almost made this waterfall. It's been three days of walking. <laughs> we haven't had food or water. Anyways, we're almost there. Well, we made it to the falls. There they are. Can't even see them through the trees. Well, we finally made it to the waterfalls and as suspected, it was a very popular attraction, so there were plenty of other people here, which meant we had to wait a little while to get down 
because it was a very narrow path. So if you are coming here during the pandemic, you will definitely need to plan a little bit of extra time because there are tons of people coming down to the waterfall. At the waterfall, we spent some time taking pictures and video, had a little rest on a bench, and then we started the hike back through the creepy tunnel again to the estate grounds. When we made it back, we did a bit more exploring and were again swarmed by bugs. We actually found the Mackenzie King estate by complete accident. We were on our way to Gadineau Park and saw signs for it and decided to come here. And we were really glad we did because there are beautiful areas for hiking, trails, lots of picnic spots, and there's even a little cafe behind me that you can get refreshments at after you've done your hike or if you want to come on a little picnic. We had to get some ice cream, of course, and also tried the lemonade, which is surprisingly tart, but I thought it was quite delicious. So if you're in the area, I would definitely stop here, and you could even plan a little day of it because there is a lot to do and see while you're here. We spent about two hours at the estate and then made the drive back to Ottawa, where we decided to continue our sightseeing. The first stop was Rideau Falls East Dam. Here we found a beautiful view from a restaurant, and there was also a bridge that you could walk over for an up-close view. On the other side of the bridge, there was a war memorial for the fallen members of the Air Force of the British Commonwealth and even more views of the Rideau Falls. We took our car back to the hotel and then set out on foot to have one final view of the Rideau Canal before heading into the Byward Market area. I had no idea, but Byward Market is actually Ottawa's number one tourist attraction and has over 600 businesses in the area. Here you will find shopping, dining, entertainment, professional services, a local farmer's market, and artisans. We found it to be a very busy area and learned that normally this area would get around 50,000 visitors per weekend in the summer months. This is where we decided to stop for dinner and enjoy some beers at Zach's Diner. And I must say, the portions here were extremely generous and I had so many onion rings, I'll probably never need onion rings again. After dinner, we continued exploring the city and stopped at the National Gallery of Canada to see the famous spider sculpture, another popular tourist attraction if you're in the Ottawa area. We also strolled through Majors Hill Park, which reminded me of a tiny central park. There were gardens, walking paths, and tons of people picnicking, playing sports, and enjoying the views of Parliament. After that, we ended our evening in Ottawa, watching the sunset over Parliament and the Ottawa River. We really enjoyed our time here in the Ottawa area and hope you enjoyed coming along for the ride. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more travel videos coming soon.